At the bottom of the TSplot output, we have two panels. The first is the autocorrelation function plot. This looks at correlation between data points in the time series offset by a degree of time lag. The relationship between one observation and the observation three weeks prior is tracked across the entire data set. The correlation between this data is then plotted as a bar chart between positive one and negative one. Anything above 0.2 is deemed to be statistically significant. For our data, there's a statistically significant positive correlation to a time lag of about nine weeks. That is to say, if sales are rising in one week, there's a high probability they will rise for two weeks, a slightly smaller chance they will rise for three weeks, and so on all the way down to nine weeks. To the right, we have the partial autocorrelation function. Like the autocorrelation function, this chart plots the relationship between values at two data points in a time series. However, it strips out any influence from the values between the two data points. Looking at this chart, we can see there's a statistically significant relationship for a lag of one and two periods. This may help us refine some of the specific settings in our time series model later.